Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you can get all of your eBay, Amazon, Etsy and more transactions directly into QuickBooks Online. And this couldn't have come at a better time because HMRC and eBay especially are talking to one another now. So we want to be making sure that whatever you submit is based on your tax return agrees to what eBay is going to tell HMRC. So this is really important we get this bit right. It's one of the benefits of having QuickBooks is the fact that you can connect not just your bank account, but also eBay and all the other e-commerce platforms out there. Absolutely love this. This is an absolute game changer in my eyes. This is one of the reasons why we love using QuickBooks because we have that integration. And best of all, it's completely free. Now, I have v done videos of this in the past, but this is me starting from scratch. So join me as we go and try and connect eBay, Amazon and all those other things directly into QuickBooks Online in a flash. Let's roll. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer of Fanta New Logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, head of accounts here at Buffix, and also your friendly podcaster who goes live each and every Monday morning for Ask the Accountant. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the fact that actually, got quite a lot to talk about here because we're going to be talking about how we're going to make sure that your eBay, Amazon, Etsy and all of those sort of transactions come into QuickBooks Online efficiently and best of all completely for free as long as you've got a QuickBooks license. Now this is one of the benefits of having QuickBooks. This solution is free. You go to any of the other ones you're going to have to be paying more and even with QuickBooks there are other solutions out there that you can use. Use my link below to see other solutions, link my books, things like that. And they are very, very powerful for certain situations. But for most of you out there, this connection here is exactly what you need. Let's start from scratch. Let's get the connection up and running, see exactly what it does for us. Okay, I've created a brand new client here, so we're starting from scratch. Here, it's gonna ask me some questions at the beginning. So if you're first getting connected to QuickBooks, this is the sort of connection you're gonna want. So I'm just gonna do other for now. I'm saying I'm a limited company, and I'm less than one year, we'll do five. I'm going to ignore the next page. All right, so I'm first into QuickBooks. Now, if this is the first time you've ever seen QuickBooks, I've done some other videos on like, first starting up. Some real pro tips, though. Make sure when the first thing you do, go to your bank transaction area and connect your account. Connecting up accounts is super straightforward. As you can see here, it's kind of asking me to put in credentials, making sure that I've got everything in play. But my pro tips are just use your phone, right? Connecting a bank account can be um, so much simpler if you just use your phone because all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in. As long as you have your mobile phone app in the same phone as what you're connecting to, it literally just connects to one another. They can both say are happy with each other and connect it nice and straightforward. So make sure you get that connected. Now, the other pro tip is about getting those eBay transactions or Amazon or anything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the app section and go find apps. And I'm going to search for whatever platform I'm looking for. And what you're looking for then is the whatever platform it is connect by Intuit. Now it's always going to be the same software. It's the connect by Intuit. It's this is the bit that's the secret source. And what I can do now is use the get app option top right hand corner. From here I can get my app and I can connect it to it. And then what it's gonna do, once you've connected it to your account, it's gonna take you to this area. Now this is the secret source here because at the moment it's wanting me to connect the eBay one because I did the eBay connection, but I actually have multiple ways. If I press this manage button, this connection button here, I can press add connection and these are my options. So I can do Amazon, Big Commerce, Etsy, et cetera, and or Shopify, eBay, all of these options available for me to go in and connect. So this is really, really powerful for me, right? Not only is it eBay that I can connect in, but I can go through from there. If it is eBay that I want to connect though, clicking on eBay, I can connect to eBay, and then I'm just putting my credentials in. We connect to our bank, now we connect to the eBay. Now what's next? Well, if you look at this here, one of the most important decisions you're gonna to have to make about connecting any of this is how do you want the data going into QuickBooks? And for the majority of you out there, I would recommend use the payout option. And what that means, if I tick this box here, is every time a payout happens at eBay, 
that's when it tells QuickBooks it happened. So if you've got refunds or fees or anything like that, it's all going to be included in that payout, right? So in my case, I want to always, always, always think about how to make my life easier. And what I would recommend you do is if you go over to transactions, chart of accounts, and you press the new button, I'd highly recommend you always go in and you create a eBay or whatever solution you're using control account. Personally, I would set it to a cash at bank and I would then press save. Now, the reason we would use a control account is because every time the money comes into your bank, you want that to go to the control account. And every time eBay makes a sale, you want that to go to the control account. And in the ideal world, both of those will match. And majority of the time, they always will. But every so often, there could be a penny difference or there could be a more disastrous issue. Um, and it means they can't connect and they don't agree to one another. So if you don't use a control account, sometimes you get reconciliation issues and all manner of different problems. So trust me, having the control account will make your life easier. So what that means now is, right, into, into what bank account? Where, where do I want to retrieve these from? Well, I want my payout to go to those eBay control accounts. I'm not interested in tax in this position, so I'm going to move on from that one. And then I get to say, well, where do I want my eBay accounts to go? Now, personally, I would always create actual elements for it. So I would, I would generally put an eBay income account, eBay and everything else. Create it in QuickBooks, then use this the refresh button. You can bring it straight in here. So, for example, I could press new. I could go in and I say eBay income. Make sure it's against the income account. Make sure it's sales of product or income and press save. And if I go and refresh here and go to my income area, you'll see eBay income is now there. And you probably want to do the same, if I'm completely honest, with your refunds, just so you can see that. And then you need to see a fee. So where are you going to put your fees? Well, I would, again, create one for each one. I'm just going to put sundry for now for add. And then for the charges, I'm just going to put against credit card charges. You would want to create the proper ones for each one. But it's as simple as that, right? Now when I press save, now I've pressed save. I've told the QuickBooks app how I want to do it. And all I need to do then is turn the integration on. I do want to bring my um, integration as far back as I can. In my case, I'm allowed to go all the way back to July. Sounds good to me. Turn the integration on. And I would then press sync now. So what's happening now is it will go back to whatever date you've said is the first one. And now going forward, it's going to go in and it's going to put the information that we need to put in there. So it'll always, always put that forward. Now that's using the payout option. For majority of you, payout's absolutely fine. If you are that registered though, you will need to start thinking about the order solution. The idea of the order one is that every transaction in eBay is generated for you. So you've got actually each individual order, either as a sales invoice or a sales receipt, and you can really go into depth and what in. If you are that registered, you are going to have to think about bringing it in by this way. But for most of you, I wouldn't go anywhere near doing it this way. It's much more complicated. We'll do a whole video on how to do orders in QuickBooks um, in eBay Connector and do it properly through there. That's definitely something I want to get into. Use the comment section below to really push for me to get that earlier rather than later. But for now, we're going to concentrate on just the payout one because the payout one's the one that's going to make it super simple. So at this point in time, um, it's synchronizing, it's going through every 50 minutes in this idea or every hour, it was going to sync it again for me and keep me on board with, with making all this connected. So what's the connector actually done? Well, if I go to my dashboard area, this is why I love using eBay control accounts. You can see I've got two different numbers. I've got two numbers that are really important in my bank account area. My bank account itself, so I've got 17 transactions to sort out. And my eBay control account is saying I've got £11.53 in, what's that? Clicking on the actual account makes me bring it in. And you can see here eBay data has been posted for me. And if you look at it in, in totality by going to the report section, and looking at my profit and loss account, you can see I've received £13 of income. I've incurred £1.47 of fees, leaving me with £11.53 of profit. That £11.53 
is the same £11.53 I've got sat in my eBay control account. And what that's basically telling me is eBay now owes me £11.53, but it's split everything for me between income and expense. That's why the control account is so important. So if I was to go to the transactions and bank transactions and I go looking for uh, my, my eBay income, I don't want to be posting my eBay income to income, right? I've already accounted for that. £13 sat there. But you'll notice I've had £11.53 come from eBay. Now, that £11.53 that eBay has paid me and put into QuickBooks for me, I need to account for that. Now, how do I account for it? Well, I'm going to go into it. I'm going to record it as a transfer and I'm going to transfer it to eBay control account. Because remember, if I was to post that £11.53 to income, I'm double counting. I've already accounted for £13 and my £1.47 of, of fees. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to post it to the eBay control account. And actually, I'd probably go a step further. I would create a rule so that every time eBay pays me out, it's going to transfer it and it's going to go directly to my eBay control account. And that rule there means that every time that it sees this income coming in going forward, it's going to automatically assign it. And I've got auto add there so I can press save. It'll also do historical ones for me if I need to. But ultimately now, if I go to my dashboard and I have a look at my eBay control account, it's now zero. The reason it's zero is because eBay told me they were going to pay me £11.53. They then paid me £11.53 and now my reports beautifully state not only my income correctly 13 pound in my case and my charges correctly 1 pound 47 in my case but that means that i've got everything set exactly how it should be now this is why connecting your ebay amazon and everything else is so beneficial because the income will automatically be put into the right place for you the expenses and the fees will automatically be applied for you and all you need to use is those control accounts to make sure that you can then keep on top of them and make sure that everything's correct and in theory you either should be at zero meaning that ebay's paid every penny to you at this point in time or it's going to be an amount there that eBay or Amazon or any of the other accounts still owe you. And there we have it. There is a really quick look at how to connect it for the first time, getting that information and use that payout function for you to be in, in the best way possible. Put your best foot forward in this case and you will see how much easier it is to do doing it this way. My name has been Aaron Patrick. Let me know in the comments below, how do you find this connection? Is there any other solutions? I did say if you use my link tree below, there are other solutions we use, like link my books for more sophisticated solutions. This is when you just want the nice, easy way of doing it. Using the payout solution, push them there. Now, if you need more complicated ones, like for example, if you're VAT registered, then keep an eye on this channel. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like because we will be going through and showing exactly how to connect it in a more complicated scenario later down the line. We already have a video for it though, so we already have historical videos, but that's three year old now. So we're trying to keep this refreshed, trying to put better uh, information in there and quicker ones as well, because this way now, so much more so sophisticated and done than we've ever had before. So make sure you connect that into it. So make sure you go to the app store, make sure you use the find apps option, make sure you use eBay or whichever one you wanna do, but it's the eBay connector by Intuit. It's gonna make sure that you can have everything flowing directly into your QuickBooks. My name is Bernard Patrick. As always, use the like and subscribe button. Thanks for all the support you've been passing over to this channel lately. It's been highly, highly appreciated and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hello and welcome to this new series. Hello and welcome to this video. 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 Alright, let's get it set. Let's do this. Oh yeah, you're alright. Yes, I'm aware we go live every morning. The next generation is that everyone else that missed it. Yeah. So come All right, you've told us what you love about the industry, but what would you change about the industry? Where do I start?
During that period of time, where did everyone turn to? Their accountant, right? Their advisor, the bookkeeper, and you all did phenomenal work for small business. 